Have you ever felt that you'd like to see the world go up in flames? With no regard for winning, no regard for your opponent's plans, in just, you know, all-around chaos? Well, this Grixis Chaos deck might be the deck for you. In this Halloween special, I will be talking about a deck built around Vile Smasher the Fierce and Ludovic Necro Alchemist. This deck tech is all about screwing with your opponent's minds, to pit them against each other, to force them to make decisions they'd never thought they'd have to make, and to watch everyone's life total, including your own, go down, down, down in flames. <laughs> um, but yeah, you should really check out this deck tech. Vile Smasher is the main commander of this deck because this little goblin just throws around damage like it's vials of dragon fire. Because, I mean, that's what she's throwing, you know. Vile Smasher's ability goes very well with the theme of dealing incidental damage to opponents and the fact that most of our chaotic spells cost upwards of 7 mana. Ludovig helps promote the second part of this deck, forcing your opponents against each other. His abilities make opponents want to deal damage to each other in order to draw cards, playing into the hands of our master plan. <laughs> Here we've got Ramp. As in any deck, you'll need a lot of mana to cast your spells. This is even more important for this deck because we want to be able to ramp into our extremely expensive spells of utter chaos and confusion. Here we have all the usual suspects for a non-green deck. You'll need mana rocks like Demir Signet, Rakdos Signet, Is It Signet, blah blah blah, Fellowar Stone, blah blah blah, Gilded Lotus, blah blah blah, blah. We also have Neheb the Eternal in this deck to generate mana through all of the random damage we're going to be dealing out to everyone. Next, we've got Card Draw. You'll need to dig through your deck to keep this pain train rolling. We've got Faithless Looting, Phyrexian Arena, Read the Bones, Skeletal Scrying, Sign and Blood, and Erebos, God of the Dead. We've also got wheel effects, like Wheel of Fortune and Reforce the Soul, that play into our chaotic theme and let you refill your hand. Don't mean to dread bore you with the same old removal section, but spot removal is needed in just about any deck. Terminate and Dreadbore are great options in black and red. Slaughter Pact and Pact of Negation will do just fine as other forms of removal, but they have a much greater purpose in this deck. <laughs> and sometimes, when targeted removal is a little bit too predictable, we have randomized removal. First, we have Fleshbag Marauder and Merciless Executioner that cause your opponents to sacrifice a creature. Next, we have Archfiend of Depravity, which forces your opponent to choose only two of their favorite creatures and sacrifice the rest. <laughs> Malfagor makes your opponents have to rebuild and brings you into the wonderful land of top-decking uncertainty. Is it a land on top, or is it a spell? I mean, it's probably a land, but that's all the fun in chaos. Stark of Wraith goes around pledging his loyalty to different players, all Game of Thrones style, killing artifacts and creatures alike, only exacerbating the blood feuds between your opponents. Sometimes, your opponents will see that you're playing absurdly annoying spells and try to take advantage of you by attacking you with their creatures and playing cards to gain value. Blasphemy! We shall make them extinct with these board wipes. We've got Star of Extinction, Blasphemous Act, and Cyclonic Rift. Now we've come to our first plan. Make everyone take bunches of random damage. This makes our Vile Smashers Vile Smashing of Vials much more potent. Rampaging Ferocidon will make opposing token decks furious Odons. Caravec the Merciless is like a Vile Smasher for your opponent's spells. In a whirlwind of terror, Sulfuric Vortex makes everyone take damage every turn. Harsh Mentor taxes opponents for activating abilities, and Painful Quandary becomes a real dilemma when opponents' life totals are frighteningly low. Pandemonium makes all hell break loose. Opponents will be able to throw damage back and forth, murdering each other's creatures and life totals, and causing the blood feuds to run even deeper. Next, we have spells that casually remove fractions of your opponent's life total. This is the section where we will heartlessly ravage your opponent's life totals with no regard for your own. 
Dire Fleet Ravager takes one third of each player's life, whereas Heartless Hitsugudu and Havoc Festival give you ways to repeatedly cut your opponent's life total in half. <laughs> how's that for divide and conquer? Next, we have our second plan of the deck, making people attack each other. We've got Avatar of Slaughter, Biden of Thassa, Disrupt Decorum, Fumiko the Lowblood, Goblin Diplomats, Grand Melee, and Warmonger Hellkite. They all have one job. Force your opponents to attack. No pillow forts are playing safe here. Next, we have a few spells just for opponents who are trying to continue to play it safe. We have War's Toll and Stone Shaker Shaman to keep opponents from leaving mana untapped for answers on their opponent's turn. Next, we have the Chaos Payoffs. Confusion in the ranks, Scramble Verse, and Thieves Auction mix up your opponent's permanents after they went through so much work to play them. Cruel Entertainment allows you to watch your opponent's attempts to screw each other over, while you plot how to mess them up even more with your absurd and annoying spells. <laughs> Endless Whispers brings creatures back from the graveyard under the control of a new master. Perplexing Chimera is more vexing than perplexing, and will cause your opponents quite a bit of beautiful annoyance. Sire of Insanity brings your opponents into top deck land, making every draw step high stakes. Possibility Storm and World Warp are best at taking your opponent's plans and making them into, well, something else completely random from their own deck. <laughs> Would you mind listening to what is my favorite part of the Chaos deck? Want to force everyone to cast absurd spells along with you? What? They won't put them in their deck? Well, we'll make them each play their own copies of Scrambleverse if it's the last thing we do. Hive Mind, Curse of Echoes, and Eye of the Storm let your opponents have access to all the wonderful spells that you do. Yeah, I know Echoes says May, but who could say no to having four Warp Worlds go off in a row? Not me. And my absolute favorite part is that we can troll opponents who are not playing blue or black by casting Pact of Negation and Slaughter Pact and forcing them to lose the game. If no one's died from random damage, then you better bet someone's going to die by making a pact they cannot fulfill, <laughs> even if that someone is you. Thank you so much for watching this spooky Halloween special deck tech. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. Remember, you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at mtg underscore l-i-s-s-i-e. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> but really, I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching.